Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm not Lady Miss Nicole coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So today we're going to talk about how to take correction. How to take correction. Correction is, is a beautiful thing. Correction lets you know that you might have been doing something the wrong way, but now you have the opportunity to get the shit right. And that's what's important getting it right you might have failed the first time you might have miserably failed the first time but if you get to lay the test if you get to review all the wrong answers that you made on the other tests then you can go on if you if you read the test and read all the answers that you got wrong when you take the test again you can make all those answers correct because now you know what the word what were the wrong answers okay So we have got to understand that correction is for your perfection, lady. Correction is for your perfection. If you want to step your game up, your actions must be corrected so that you can become better. And we get so mad and we don't want to hear nothing nobody got to say. But how are you expected to grow if you're not corrected? You can't learn if you don't allow yourself to be corrected. So allow the average woman podcast to correct you because you have erred in your ways. And I'm here to let you know that I I err in my ways. I get corrected. So if I can take correction, allow me to show you how how wonderful it is to be corrected. And when you're corrected, you know not to do the shit no more. And you move and turn your feet to be a better person. It's nothing more better than that. That's the most grown-ass S-H-I-T hip-hop stuff you could do. (laughs) Grow from your damn mistakes. Now, this is the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole. Please tune in to the Average Woman channel on YouTube, where I post my videos, I post my garden videos, I show you to the best of my ability who I am so that you can trust me and understand that my my intentions is for you to be better. NicoleArcher.com is where I run my business. Hit me up if you need my assistance. I'm here for for you to kick it with you, conversate with you, whatever you need. I don't have all the answers, but I do have some of the answers. And we can come to a conclusion and agree to disagree. But correction is for your perfection. And we'll be right back after these messages. All right, and we are back. And today we are talking about correction. We have to be able to accept the fact that uh, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. We fuck up. We do all kind of old wicked stuff. But the bottom line is, is that when someone comes along enough to to love you and tell you the truth, that's a beautiful thing because they don't want to see you make an ass out of yourself. You know, if 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 we're all if, if we're in a marching band together and everybody else is leading off with their right foot and you leading off your with your left foot like a fool. Uh, or whatever it is, backwards or forwards, but you know whatever foot everybody's supposed to be leading off with. If you're not leading off with the right foot and nobody tell you, you gonna look like a fool out there by yourself, and that's not cool because nobody wanna look like a fool. Everybody wanna feel like they, they. I mean, not unless you just intentionally like to look like a fool, you know. Because I know some of you ladies, you know, you can't tell you nothing. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You can't tell her nothing. And and that's a problem. Because, you know, you don't want to listen to your mama. You don't respect your daddy. So who are you going to listen to? How are you supposed to grow if you won't listen to nothing and nobody tell you? Your man can't tell you nothing. Your kids can't tell you nothing. The, uh, the only thing you believe is which is, is Kendra. You believe everything she say because she telling you what you want to hear. You believe everything Mary the Stallion say because you want to you want to believe everything. You believe everything that she say. How? Why? I, why? Is it that you 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 know we love that 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 soft music of lies to our ear? Why? 
you should want to be corrected. If I'm singing the word wrong words to a song and I'm got conviction all in it and all this, if I'm saying the wrong words, I I, I want to really know what the song says so I can sing it the right way. Because I, I if I like the song, I want to be able to sing it correctly. You understand? Being corrected when you're going off is, is love, y'all. If you're going down the wrong way and somebody out in the street yelling, hey, you're going the wrong way. That's that's a wonderful thing, because the last thing that you want to do is continue in the direction that you're going in where you hurt yourself or someone. And that's the whole point of correction. Correction is love. When somebody comes to you and they say, hey, you know, I see what you're trying to do, but I think that if you do this. You might get better results. Why does that have to turn into a knockdown, drag out, get out my face, cussing the person out type thing? Why? Why is it so wrong? If if somebody if if somebody who who sees you, who sees the the the, the struggles that you're trying to do, and sees you know the person that you're trying to be, if they see you trying to be great, and they say, hey, if you do this, you could be greater. Why would you not take that and strive with it? Because that's just not how that's just not how we are these days. Let me tell you a story. So, in the book of Leviticus, it makes it clear that the the blonde hair, the blonde hair, is considered a plague in the Bible. It's considered leprosy, blonde hair. Okay. So. And it's the book of Leviticus. I'm going to put the link. I'll put the scripture in the chat because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But it's a sister. She has a group. It's a prayer group. She wants to pray. She wants us to join her in on her chat. And she wants us She wants us to pray with her over the phone. We all different women all over the place. We're praying, right? But then she posts a picture with a blonde wig on taking pictures and stuff like that's cute so i understand the first thing you're gonna say what's wrong with wearing blonde hair okay because god don't like blonde hair in the bible blonde hair is considered to be unclean it's considered to be a curse to have blonde hair in the bible i didn't make this up y'all this is what's in there i know you shocked okay but she's a she's a she's a elder sister She's been in the Word a long time, much longer than I have. She knows a lot. She knows the Bible. She's encouraging women to pray, which is a beautiful thing. That's part of the reason why I wanted to join her group, because I want to, you know, be one of those women that who who has a direct line, a direct line to God's ear. When I speak, He hear me. He give me my blessings and my heart's desires, cause I I just I because I exude a woman that he want that he's proud of and that he wants to be blessed, that he wants to bless me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do. I'm not doing what I do for any other reason other than to gain favor with the Most High. I, I want favor with Him. That's what's important to have favor, right? So when somebody is correcting you from going off from being your greatness. You should appreciate that because a lot of people won't say anything. I had an uncle that passed away of AIDS because he was having intercourse with a man that had AIDS and everybody in the community knew it and didn't tell him. And he passed away. Somebody should have been like, hey, don't sleep with that guy right there because he has that ninja. And he if you get that, you're going to die. Somebody should have told them, but nobody said anything. They just let it, you know, whatever. <laughs> Not that you could have told them anything anyway, because they're going to do what they want to do. But if somebody stops you from jumping, hey, I got a bad vibe about you going to the club tonight. Please don't go out tonight. Just please stay home. We can get some pizza. Just watch a movie. Don't go out tonight. If somebody is trying to save you by coming to you and telling you the truth, why would you get mad about that? Why would you get mad with somebody telling you something that you know is clearly wrong? So when I approached this sister, she had her wig on with her blonde hair. And I said, sister, what you doing with that wig on? I said, what you doing with that blonde hair on your head? The first thing that she said was, sister, why don't you have blonde hair? 
No, she said, where is your blonde hair? And she sent me a picture with some little African children with blonde hair and I, and, the, and with the blue eyes. And I understand that. But if you understand genetics, that is considered a defect. That's a defect in us and, and the genetics, period. This is considered a weaker gene. So I don't. I was born with brown hair, a black hair, you know, the dark brown hair. So I don't know what you talk about. You understand? And I'm just being blunt, y'all. I don't know no way to sugarcoat the truth. This is this is how the thing went down. So I, I asked her. I said, "What you doing with that blonde hair in your hair?" And, and then the only reason why I said it because she's a sister. She's she's a woman of the Lord. She's got she's praying. You know, you praying and all this stuff. So I know you know better than to have this wig on your damn head. I know you know better. Because why would we intentionally do something that we know God would consider unrighteous or unholy? Why would we do that? You understand? So for her to feel like it's okay just to throw this blonde wig on just this one time and you know, it's not okay. And you're setting a bad tone for the sisters. If you're going to put a wig on, don't put it on Facebook so everybody can see you with the, with, with the blonde wig on, ma'am. You, we, we, I want to have respect for you. And as long as I don't see you going off doing the, the worst, I'm going to have that respect for you. Period. You understand? I'm going to have that respect for you. And I'm not, and she's, and she's, she, and she went straight to the left on me, y'all. She became a victim. I became a bully. Not, oh yeah, she corrected me because I went off. No, instantly in her feelings with an attitude. Like I'm telling her something wrong. I, I didn't even put my feelings. I, I say, you know, the Bible says this, right? Three different times the Bible talks about this yellow hair. If it's, if it's a yellow thin hair, it's unclean. It's a plague. This is in the book of Leviticus. This is in the Old Testament. The Old Testament. This is not something that I'm trying to make up. But if your heart's desire is to be a woman of God, you got to do what he say. To the best of your ability. And I can't do a lot of things. You know, some things I, I'm not going to be perfect in. But I could damn sure not make myself intentionally unclean in the eyes of God. Because my heart's desire is to be a woman that he has that hear that he hears my cry. And when I need him and I cry out to him, he helps me. So why would I do anything to jeopardize that? Like why would I do anything to jeopardize that? Period. That was my whole reasoning and, and trying to get her to understand. I'm not trying to go off on you as a woman. I don't care what the hell you do. You can sling that kuda however you wanna sling it. But when you sitting up here and you talking about you 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 lead in other women, when you lead in other women, I don't give a. I'm not going to tell you what not what the the wrong shit to do. I'm telling you a lot of stuff from my own experience. If I've experienced it, I I can only I can only talk about what I know. And if I if if I've gone through something and I have I have the obligation to tell you the truth. Because I don't want to see you fail. I don't want to see you go down a bad road. I don't want to see. It's other women who thinking the same thing I'm thinking. They just not going to tell you to your face. You probably lost. You They know you tripping. They know you tripping. <laughs> but they won't say anything. But that's not how the Bible tells us to deal with one another. If you, If I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth. My whole podcast, everything that I'm doing is about trying to show you love. I got sisters. I want to see them be their greatness. They, they're their best. I, I, I want to see you do you do well. But you got to learn how to take correction because you, you cannot get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with ketchup and mayonnaise on some bread. You're not making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you got ketchup and mayonnaise and bread on the counter. That's not going to give you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's just not because you ain't got no peanut butter and jelly up there. You got to have the certain ingredients to get the results for your life. You got to, you got to, you got to plant seeds 
to reap harvests of good shit. You understand? You got to plant seeds. If I didn't, if I didn't give up my freedom, I would have never gotten a life. You got to give up your freedom to gain a life. You, you're missing out on your life because you still want to have your freedom. I don't want to have freedom. I want to have a life. I don't want to do whatever I want to do. I want to do what, what I need to do, what is required of me. That's your, that should be your heart's desire, not to, live, not to live your life wandering around from man to man. Talk about you have a sex life and, and, and you just out here. No, you need to take correction from somebody that's going to help you get your mind right and get on track. And that's going to keep it 100 with you so you can always be grounded firmly in reality. Times is changing, ma'ams. We have other things to do other than just worry about staying comfortable in our foolishness and hide and hiding from reality and the truth. Because you ain't doing nothing but harming yourself. You ain't hurting nobody when you choose to live the life. Well, no, that's a lie. If you have children, you hurt them. And, and, and at the end of the day, you want to learn to be happy. In order for you to be happy, you need to understand where you're going off that's not allowing you to be happy. That's what I, I want to see you with a husband. I want to see you happy. I want to see you go on vacations. I want to see you posting them. I want to see you smiling. And, and it's only, it's a, it's a certain chemistry and, and, and processes that you can only, you got to have to get those things. It's, it's to, to step your game up, to really live that life, to really be that woman, to really talk and walk that walk. It's chemistry you got to have and issues and, and you need some white out to, to white out all the little issues and problems. We got to take that out of the equation so that you can really have the successful life, marriage, you know, anything that you really want. And with that, I say shalom. <laughs>